Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by sex linkage. You should then be able to carry out genetic crosses involving sex linkage. Ok, I'm showing you here the chromosome pairs in a human male. This image was produced by photographing the chromosomes and then arranging them in order. Now chromosomes 1 to 22 consist of homologous pairs. This means that both the chromosomes in each pair contain the same genes in the same positions. And remember that scientists call the position of a gene on a chromosome the locus of that gene. The 23rd chromosome pair are called the sex chromosomes. Human males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome and we can see those here. Now the X chromosome is much longer than the Y chromosome and contains a large number of genes. In contrast, the Y chromosome is smaller and contains only a small number of the genes present on the X chromosome. During embryonic development, one of the genes on the Y chromosome triggers the embryo to develop into a male. So in human males, the sex chromosomes are XY. When human males produce gametes, half of the gametes contain an X chromosome and half of the gametes contain a Y chromosome. In contrast, human females contain two X chromosomes. So all of the gametes produced by a human female contain an X chromosome. I'm showing you here how sex is inherited. As you can see, males inherit their Y chromosome from their father and their X chromosome from their mother. Females inherit one X chromosome from their father and one X chromosome from their mother. So the probability is that 50% of the offspring will be male and 50% of the offspring will be female. Ok, now genes which are found on the sex chromosomes are called sex linked genes. I'm showing you an example here. This is a gene called opsin. Opsin genes are involved in vision. Now there are several different opsin genes in humans. One of the opsin genes is found on the X chromosome. A recessive allele of this opsin gene causes red-green colour blindness, while the dominant allele of this opsin gene encodes normal colour vision. Now women have two X chromosomes, so they inherit two copies of the X-linked opsin gene. This means that there are three possible genotypes for this opsin gene in women. A woman who is homozygous dominant or heterozygous will have normal colour vision. Whereas a woman who is homozygous recessive will have red-green colour blindness. Now in contrast, men have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. And remember that the Y chromosome is very small and only contains a small number of the genes present on the X chromosome. So what this means is that men only have one copy of many of the genes on the X chromosome and this includes the opsin gene. So if a man inherits one copy of the recessive opsin allele, then that man will have red-green colour blindness. For this reason, red-green colour blindness is much more common in men than in women. Now another example of a sex-linked genetic disorder is haemophilia. People with haemophilia have blood which clots very slowly, for example after surgery. Haemophiliacs can also experience internal bleeding. Now normal blood clotting involves a number of proteins called clotting factors and one of these is called factor 8. The gene for factor 8 is found on the X chromosome. The factor 8 gene has two alleles. The dominant allele encodes for functional factor 8 protein. However, the recessive allele is mutated and leads to a very low level of functional factor 8 in the blood. Notice that when we show sex linked genes, we show the sex chromosomes and then the alleles as superscripts. Now the vast majority of people with haemophilia are males and we can explain that by looking at the sex chromosomes. As we saw before, males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. If a male inherits an X chromosome with a defective recessive allele, then that male will have haemophilia. That's because the Y chromosome does not have the factor A gene. So the male cannot also inherit the dominant allele for normal factor 8. In contrast, females have two X chromosomes. 
If a female inherits two recessive alleles, then she will have haemophilia. However, she could inherit one recessive allele and one dominant allele. In this case, she does not have haemophilia, but she is a carrier for the haemophilia allele. Alternatively, she could inherit two copies of the dominant allele. In this case, she does not have haemophilia and she is not a carrier for the haemophilia allele. OK, so let's look at some genetic crosses involving the haemophilia recessive allele. In this cross, we have a male who has haemophilia. The female does not have haemophilia and she is not a carrier. So pause the video now and work out the genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring. OK, half of the male gametes contain an X chromosome with the recessive haemophilia allele and half contain the Y chromosome. All of the female gametes contain an X chromosome with the dominant allele. Here's a Punnett square showing the cross. In this cross, 50% of the offspring are carrier females, and 50% are males who do not have haemophilia. And remember that these are probabilities. OK, here's another cross for you. In this cross, we have a male who does not have haemophilia, and a female who is a carrier. So pause the video now and work out the genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring. OK, half of the male gametes contain an X chromosome with the dominant allele, and half contain the Y chromosome. Half of the female gametes contain an X chromosome with the dominant allele, and half contain an X chromosome with the recessive haemophilia allele. Here's a Punnett square showing the cross. In this cross, 25% of the offspring are females who do not have haemophilia and are not carriers. 25% are males who do not have haemophilia. 25% are females who are carriers of the recessive haemophilia allele. And 25% are males who have haemophilia. In the next video, we'll look at dihybrid crosses.